Oh boy, 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 Wait, 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 wait,
take charge of the house. I am on my way to the office right now. Copy it. Should I shoot at sight any invader? Arrest and detain. Do not shoot. Did you hear me? Do not shoot. Remember, the law is a respecter of no man. So, do not take it into your own hands, Inspector Charles. Copy it, ma. Good. Open the gate for me. Joy, mm -hmm. I hope the check-off in the office did not affect you. My sister, I was so scared. That Inspector General looks very tough, strict. Hey! You know, during his swearing in, he threatened that he would make sure he removed every bad egg and corrupt officer in his regime. So I think he's trying to keep his promise. <laughs> Good for him, but I know you, you will not be affected. You are a good one. You're the one that is always making sure that everything is intact, disciplined. So, people like you will not even be bothered. Mm -mm. I think I should be thanking my father for the legacy he left for us. I think that is what is really leading me, yeah. Your father is a good man. Mm -hmm. Lizzie, I want to say a very big thank you to you. Come on. Everything you've been doing for me without you. Sure, stop acting. What am I have, for? Without you, I would have been gone by now. Thank you. Okay. Let me make you a promise. As long as I am in this office, nothing will happen to you. You are covered. I got you. I got your back. Come on. <laughs> Thank you. It's okay, darling. God bless you. What is wrong with you? Don't make me cry. <laughs> You know I love you. Let's go have something. <laughs> so let's clean this place, okay? <laughs> it's for joy. You're okay. Thank you. Joy of the house. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So let's go and grab something. <laughs> <It's> all right. <laughs> all right. Madam, thank you for saving my life. I would have been a dead man by now. You should be grateful to God, not me, young man. What's your name? My name is Chris. I'm a native of Eloala community. Eloala. The riot and violent community. If people are fighting security men, killing men of the force and other sisters' outfit. Ma, the truth is, not everyone in that community is a criminal. There are specific hoodlums who go about terrorizing the entire community, they are the ones responsible for the crime. How can a community fight a different You can't survive it. It's not possible. Go ahead, Mr. Crimson, listen. When the soldiers invaded my community, they began to shoot sporadically. They arrested every young youth on sight. Then my father advised me to leave the village that night. Of course, yes. The youth of your community are recalcitrant and troublesome by waging war against security force. I beg your pardon, ma. Not every youth in my community 
got involved, except for a few bad eggs. And a few bad eggs? Are they not living in that community with you? You people decided to hide them. Therefore, the Avengers must definitely befall every member of that community. Should we told the where? Those bad eggs you mentioned, they are members of your community. Did any indigenous of your community try to report them to police or soldiers? No. None did. I'm listening. Go ahead. When the soldiers attacked my community, they killed my parents, burnt down our house, took away my sister. And since that time, I haven't seen her again. What prompted the chasing of police that led to the accident that almost took your life? Sorry, Ma, how did you... How did you know about the incident? Does it matter how I know about the incident? So when I left the village, I ran to the city. Unfortunately for me, I met and squatted with a man I barely knew. I was surprised to know he is an internet fraudster. And when the police came for a raid, the young man told me to escape for my life. And that was exactly two days after I had arrived. You mean to tell me that you have no hand in both crimes? No. God is my witness. When I tried to escape from the police, I ran to the streets. On crossing the highway, I got knocked down by a car. I was so helpless. And the driver who knocked me down ran away because he thought I was dead. Now that you have been discharged from the hospital, I am completely speechless because I'm confused. I have nowhere to go. I have no one to run to. At this point, I'm totally helpless. Good morning, sir.
you this bloody civilian. Now accord me the right compliments I deserve. The right compliments you deserve. I'm sorry, sir. How do I do that, sir? Were you not told by my superior that I am the provost general without a complimentary rank to match the claim? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> sorry, I wasn't uh, told. My friend, will you shut up and do the needful? I'm sorry, sir. Attention! Chest out. That's agility. Now, accord me the rightful compliments I deserve because I noticed you attended the NYS, starting with your name. I, Chris, from a roller community, stand here to say good morning to the Provost General. And Inspector Charles of the police force. Well, sir, you're not a police officer. In Abuala. Are you okay? My friend, add Inspector Charles. Of the police force. Inspector Charles of the police force. Bravo. Good morning to my superior officer. Good morning, the provost. At ease. Have you come across this young man here, Mr. Chris? Yes, ma. He is the young man that was rescued from destruction via his accident. You are right. Henceforth, he will be staying here with us until he is considered fit. I want you to handle him with the spirit of esprit de corps. Am I understood? Yes, ma. Young man. You need to come with me for proper investigation. We need to investigate the cause of your accident and search you properly for any possible exhibit. You have the right to remain silent for anything you say or do will be used against you in the court of law. The provost. Yes, ma. I want you to handle him with kiss gloves. No corporal punishment yes. am i understood yes ma good open the gate for me listen to me you must respect me in all matters. Oh yes. Or oh, I will charge you into prison for culpable offenses. Yes. Ranging from disrespect of a constituted authority to abuse of a privileged officer. And that's me. Um, Inspector, will, will you will you shut up? Will you shut up? Listen. And listen very carefully. I charge you for defamation of character. Or will I say character assassination? This could end you 10 years behind bars. Or if the judge is magnanimous enough, 50 years. You rot in jail. Uh, Inspector, please, what, what do I address you as? Oh boy. Address me as the Provost General. Provost what? General. Thank you. You make mistakes and go to prison. Oh, yes. Um, Inspector, in case you find me guilty of any of the offense, I'm sorry I'm not conversant with the legal provisions. Listen, boy. 
Ignorance of the law is not an excuse. Oh, yes. Any day you address me by my rank again, I'll send you to prison. Now run. Sir. Run inside. One, two, 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 one, two. Blood is sick. I'm sorry, officer of the law. I don't smoke. I've never smoked before. Mr. Chris. Yes, sir. Do you know that I can charge you for deception and forceful information? Sir, what forceful information exactly? I just told you I don't smoke. I've never smoked all my life. And I didn't tell a lie, sir. Mr. Chris, I can see that your family are all bloody liars. I'll charge you to prison. Officer of the law, I don't understand. Why are you involving my family? I said I didn't tell a lie, and now you want to charge me to prison. Please don't send me to prison. I, I, I didn't lie to you. I've never told a lie before. Besides, I'm, I'm the only survivor of my family. So why would you be the only survivor of the family? Officer of the law is, is, is a long story, sir. Mr. Chris. Sir. Hold it for me. Sasha, hold it for you. Hold it for me. Okay, sir. Mr. Chris. Sir. Do you know that I can charge you for possession and consumption of hard drugs? Sir? Sir, I didn't take it. What nonsense. What's the name of this? Sir, you, I, I, you, you, you said I should hold it for you and I was holding it. And now you say you want to charge me for possession of hard drugs. How? No regard. No respect. You could not even respect my rank. You dropped my smoke on the floor. But officer of the law, this, this is manipulation now. I will send you to underground prison. Makache. I will send you to underground prison. You are gone. But officer of the law, you can't send me to prison. You asked me to hold the drug for you. And I held it. And now you are, you are accusing me of... Uh... Chris. Idiot. <laughs> you are welcome, Joy. Thank you so much, my darling. Lazy. <laughs> you know, um, these days you no longer find it necessary to call me while coming to my house. <laughs> um, should we say, um, someone wanted to buy cut all the protocols. I needed to break that ritual, you know? <laughs> it's all right. Um, it's your house. You can visit anytime without any protocol. <laughs> the pleasure is all mine, my darling. So how have you been? Yeah, I'm here. I'm fine. You know, baby girl, we need to start going out. You know, go out, shake off some, you know, stress. Let's have our own time. I don't, I don't get it. You and who? The two of us. <laughs> Chris, please, be first, okay? Chris. Mm -hmm. Who is Chris? <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. Who is he? And what happened to his head? Why does he have a bandage on his head? Joy, joy. Tell me if he's a criminal, let me arrest him right away. Joy, the curious monkey. <laughs> Which of your questions do you want me to answer first? Everything. <laughs> Please, drink up, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you sure you're safe. <laughs> 
Mr. Chris, sir. I will charge you for illegal possession of hard drugs. Point of correction, officer. I don't do hard drugs. Besides, even if you give it to me now, or show me one, I won't recognize it. Mr. Chris, if I had taken you a picture holding that Indian hem, do you know that that will serve as an evidence for, against you in the court of law? And it will take you direct to the prison. But I didn't smoke it. Look at this one. If I had taken you a picture, what will you tell the judge? Don't you know it will serve as an evidence against you? Your hand is fair. My hand is black. But sir, you asked me to hold it. Whose hand is in the picture? But you asked me to hold it. But whose hand is in the picture? Me. Thank you. But you asked me to hold it. By now, you are in the prison. Are you seeing your life? You think it, you think say you wise? You are a woman. <laughs> Joy, baby. Do you remember what our principal used to tell us? Then in the police college. Which is? That curiosity is the highest weapon that kills the monkey. So, you're trying to refer to me as a monkey? Of course, yes. Because uh. you're being too curious right now, baby. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Yes. <laughs> anyway, that guy is called Chris. Okay. That is the guy I told you about that I rescued from his accident scene the last time. The one you said, without your intervention, he would have been dead. Not just dead. That guy would have been buried in a shallow grave right now by the sanitation authority. Yes. Why? From what I heard, he is an orphan. A helpless one at that. So bad. You... Yes. You mean he's an orphan? He is. Oh my goodness. So touching. Oh, please. Please, curious joy. Oh, curious monkey. Can we please forget about this and don't ask me for details, please? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> because oh. I know you. <laughs> of course, you know. Ask questions. The next thing is, where is he from? How old is he? Where Who are they? No, 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 I don't know what to say. Honestly, I don't know where to start from. But all I want to say is, thank you. Thank you so much for standing in for me. Thank you so much. Without you, I would have been in one village uh. where there is no light, nothing, no, no network. And with the conspiracy surrounding your transfer. <sighs> By now, they would have pushed you to one dungeon. Like, I'm talking mm. about network. You might not have anything to eat <laughs> over there. <laughs> I'm just wondering how I would have coped. Oh, it's okay. What are friends for? Thank you so much, eh? honestly. Because by now, I would have been in one ulterior village. Mm. Wasting <laughs> all in the name of promotion. Yes, but at least the, the transfer will come with a better promotion. And then you'll be promo we'll have a friend who has been promoted to another level, another rank. You, yeah. you get it? Yeah. If I go to that village, you won't get to see my face. <laughs> <laughs> you alright? <laughs> Nobody will give you trouble. <laughs> so come here, my darling. I'm so happy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. At least every day I'll get to see your face and disturb you. Please <laughs> see that. That is me. You can call me that. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Ah, 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 Yes, I told him to report to the commissioner of police. <laughs> you mean the commissioner? Give me a minute, I'll call you back, okay? Yeah, thank you. Sorry, Ma, you sent for me? Yes, Mr. Chris. What will you do for a checkup? I was actually due yesterday, but I was afraid to tell you, so I... Left a note on your table. You were afraid to tell me to your own detriment? I'm sorry, ma, but I... I feel like... I do not want to stress you any further. You have done so well for me. You saved my life and you have given me shelter. I feel like that's enough. No, listen, Mr. Chris. As long as you are still in this same roof with me, you are my responsibility. Have I made myself clear? I'm so sorry, Ma, but I feel like I am enough trouble to you. I do not want to add to your stress. The truth is, I, I don't feel pain anymore. I was actually thinking of removing the, the bandage myself without going to the hospital. Thank you, God, you didn't remove that bandage. I would have had you arrested for attempting suicide. What is wrong with you? Now go in there and get dressed. I am taking you to that clinic myself right now. Thank you. Inspector Sharps! Inspector Sharps! Inspector Sharps! What kind of pain and pictures are you feeding that young man with about me? My superior man, in answer to your image making attempt, and in accordance to the police act on Answer my question straight and leave police act out of this right now. My superior, I told that bloody civilian to keep you at arm's length because I can arrest him for unlawful entry into this compound and send him to prison. You told him that? And what made his entry into this house unlawful, Inspector Charles? Answer me! My superior, I remember clearly how we saved that bloody civilian and a mediocre life in a motor accident that almost took his life. Yes. And the next thing, he is here. Inspector Charles. Am I now to believe that you are challenging my orders and I have no right to bring in whoever I want to bring into my house anymore? Forgive me, ma. You have the proprietary right to your property. Ma! Now listen. The next time you try that rubbish, I will show you this door and it replace you with another oddly, a responsible one at that with immediate effect. Is that clear? Yes, Ma. Thank you for the second chance, Ma. Chris. Chris, what is keeping you?
Sorry, I kept you waiting. I was trying to clean up the kitchen. Okay. Uh, Chris, you know, um, I've been meaning to ask. Who taught you how to do the house chores and domestic errand? Remember I told you I grew up with my mother in the village? Okay. So I learned to do most of the house chores from her. Yes. And your sister, you told me she was kidnapped. What about her? Yes, my sister was kidnapped at some point, although she was very young at the time and she was unable to do certain things for my parents. So I was available to do those things on her behalf because I have to, you know, be there for my poor parents. They taught you well. Thank you. And your outfit, it looks good on you. Thank you very much. You look cute. Thank you. Let's go. Mr. Chris, I not under no condition. Would you have the right to divulge such an information to my boss? No matter the level of threat you might have received from me. But, officer of the law, I, I didn't leak any secret to, to, to my madam. God is my witness. I didn't tell her anything. Mr. Chris, do you know that I can charge you for libel in the court of competent jurisdiction? And this will lead you to 10 years imprisonment with hard labor. Officer of the law, please forgive me, but I'm not aware of what you're accusing me of. Mr. Chris, are you playing with me? If you're not aware of the offense you committed, why are you begging for forgiveness? I, I, I begged for forgiveness because I, I don't like to see you provoked. It scares me. Now, Mr. Chris. Sir. Why did you tell my superior, I mean my boss, telling her that I am verbally intimidating you? Thereby contradicting the Freedom Act of 1964 of the Federation. Sir, that's the wrong information you have, sir. I, I didn't do anything like that. I can never do anything like that. Uh, sir, sir, am, am I mad? Mr. Chris. Sir. Mr. Chris. Sir. Listen, I am the Provost General. Oh, yes. And I command you now to run inside. Get me food. Sir. Meat should be in attendance. Enough meat. But more should not be exceptional. I don't like it cold. I want it hot. Now, run. Run! Up, 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 bloody civilian. Up, up, up. Just. My darling. Ah, like, I don't get this. You know? With your profession, your position, and then your connections. You still bring yourself so low to help someone you don't even know. Tell me, I have to thank God for those qualities you just mentioned now. I believe God put me in this position to help and save life. I think, I think so, yes. So what do you intend to do with him now? If he recovers? Huh? Curious joy. I have to know. <laughs> so why, why do you ask? Ha! You're asking me what I'm asking. Because I don't get it. In this time and economy, you still go out of your way to do a lot for people you don't even know. I believe that God will provide for me to take care of that guy. But for now, I'm, I'm not complaining. I'm, I'm okay. I'm fine. <laughs> Shama, I give it up to you, eh? Me, Joy. I will just go on the road and pick someone I don't even know and then bring the person into my privacy. My darling, I give it up to you. <laughs> so, shall we go now?
You see, the reason you should be humble to me is because as an inspector of the police force, I can stand in court as a prosecution witness and send you or escort you to prison. Officer, I wanted to ask you a very important question. Go ahead. You're very free. As far as your question will not contradict your journey to the gas chamber. What does my question have to do with a gas chamber? I was only trying to ask you if it is possible for someone to go to jail without committing an offence. As well as you are alive and active. Prison is the 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 easiest trap. Just like that. Random first words out of my mouth. What you're even doing right now is terrible to law. I can decide to sue you. Hurry up and wash these clothes. You know I have other clothes inside. And you will still need to I I iron all of, all of them. Officer of the law, I was only Are you complaining? I'm not complaining, but I'm just... In fact, I wanted to tell you that I have more chores to do inside before Madame comes back. Mr. Chris, you don't have to say anything. In fact, you have the right to remain silent for every, anything you say here can be used against you in the court of law. Before you, 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 you said you were not compl complaining, whereas you, you are. Or do you want me to sue you? Shalma. The provost. You're welcome, ma. I hope nothing unpleasant happened while I was away. Ma'am, it's as if you've forgotten so soon of my shooting skills. As far as I'm the officer in charge of this vicinity, nothing mega. Nothing happened. And what about the young man, Mr. Chris? I hope you are electing cordially with him. Yes, ma'am. I am strongly applying the principle of human relationship as it is contained in the police code of conduct. Great. I'll see you later. Oh, madam. You're back. Yes, I'm back. You're welcome. How was work today? Work was fine. And you? Fine, fine. Thank you. Okay. Um, it seems you did laundry today. Oh, yes. I'm actually done ironing. All right. That's good. Would you like lunch or you'd want to run a bath first? Run my bath? What happened? Is the tap not running? You didn't pump water today. Oh, I told you uh, the tap is bad. So I didn't want to damage it any further. Oh. That is thoughtful of you. It's okay. You can go ahead with what you're doing. I can't just run my back myself. Hold on. You look tired. I can help you do both. I don't... It's okay. Wait. No, serious. Let me help you. No, it's fine. Let me help you. Don't worry. I'll help you. Thank you, Mr. Chris. You're welcome, ma. Sit. Ma? Sit. There's something I want to discuss with you. All right, man. Just give me a minute. I'll do that shortly. Okay. Um, <clears throat> sorry, ma. 
You forgot this money in one of the jean pockets. I found it when I was doing laundry. How much is that? I have no idea. I didn't count it. Why didn't you count? Are you that careless? No. Because it's not mine, I don't have to count it. Count it. What? Count. Okay. Fifteen thousand. Okay. I'm gonna keep it on my bed. Here are the key. And from today, I give you access to my bedroom. My I don't think that's necessary. I mean if you're giving me access to your bedroom to clean it, I can always do that when you come back from work. I don't have to do it when you're not around. Chris, Ma. henceforth, do not question my decision. Am I clear? I'm sorry, Ma. No, I have it. Thank you. Mr. Chris. Are you sure you didn't lie to me when you said you grew up in the village? No. I couldn't have lied to you. There was no point. I mean, there's no reason for that. Besides, I come from a family background where lies are considered a sin beyond pardon. If you truly grew up in the village like you said, how come you speak good English? Self-development. I didn't let my situation determine my destination. Oh. That is a good philosophical saying. Now go ahead, explain more. What do you mean by that? It's a long story. <clears throat> so, uh, after my secondary education, I, I tried to gain admission into the university, but it didn't work because my parents were poor and I didn't have anyone to help me financially. So that dream of becoming the university graduate died. But then I took up a teaching job and I began to teach for a while. And after that, I was able to save some money to go to school. But unfortunately for me, the crisis, the riot in my community started. That's quite a pretty. Mr. Chris, supposing you are given an opportunity to choose a lifeline, what, what would be your choice? So I've been thinking, I'd like to do business. And apart from doing business, I would also like to do law part-time. Mm -hmm. Why? Money is important. You need money to cushion the effect of hardship. So I'd like to do business to make money. And uh, I also like to become a lawyer because I have to be a voice to the voiceless. I need to help a lot of people in my community. 
and uh, becoming a lawyer would help me achieve that. All right. That will be all for now. I need to go to my bed. Rest my head. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, rest my head. Good night. So you, you, you wickedly and deliberately decided to starve me. Not minding the negative impact it will have on my health. Officer of the law, I'm really sorry if you feel that way. But you know I always smuggle food to you without my madam's consent. Smuggle? That is an offense. Huh? Oh yes. That is an offense which contravenes the Custom Act. Being a smuggler is a case against this country. You are a saboteur. And, and there is a particular jail team that is designated for that. Officer of the law, I never told you I'm a smuggler. I said I smuggle food to you. Did you not hear me? That too is a case of theft. Ha. That too is a clear case of theft. Which is punishable by law. And as I stand here, I can prove to you beyond every reasonable doubt that I can convict you in court. <sighs> okay, officer of the law, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for using those wrong words to qualify my actions. However, you can have the cucumber. I'll go get you some food to eat. Be very, very fast about that food. Very, very fast. I'll begin to make calls on. And we're men. Officer of the law, you're always threatening me with jail, with prison. What is it? And if I don't put you in jail, I will never rest. If I don't put you in jail, if I rest, call me pastor. Madam Joy, welcome. Thank you, the Crown Provost of the Police Force. I greet you. The Provost General, without a complimentary <laughs> rank, waiting to take your orders, ma. That's good. I, I hope your madam is in. In line with the first relationship. As pretty cops. That will be all for now. Uh, permission to take my leave? Permission granted. Thank you. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you. Let me get my mother. Come, Chris. Chris, why are you in a hurry? So I want to tell my madam you're here. Of course you will tell her. Oh my goodness. Look at you. A lot has changed. I mean, you look so transformed. I am trying to understand what you mean by I look so transformed. <laughs> Chris, I mean... You look so appealing and so handsome. Can't you see? <laughs> oh, thank you. Can I call her now? Of course you can call her. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow. I must thank Lizzie for, you know, taking good care of him. Yes, she deserves an apology. Oh my 
Lazy baby. Um, Lazy. Yes, girl. I want you to tell me the truth. About what? Um, Lizzie, oh, who is Chris to you? Yeah. Oh, what Chris? What do you mean by what Chris? Do I know you with any other Chris? Yeah, I mean the Chris that stays here with you. What do you have with him? <laughs> the curious joy. The curious joy. I hope you have not come to my house with your expertise in surveillance. You know I am above your spy. <sighs> Lizzie, honestly, I'm not kidding. I'm not joking here. You know, the change and the transformation I saw in that guy when I walked in here got my fancy. I must say, I'm interested. Like, I like him. Wait a minute. I'm very serious. <laughs> Personally, I have not noticed any change in that young man. Mm. Not at all. Heaven knows he means nothing to me. For real. <laughs> Lizzie, you will never change. I don't understand it. Nothing, no. Like, you're kidding me. You don't have it. You've never seen any change in that boy. Sure. Cross my heart. I have not seen any change in that boy or that guy. In fact, he's a man. He's not even a boy. I don't know what is wrong with you. Chris is nothing than an inheritance humble servant who has been helping me tremendously with house chores. Just that. That. I see. Why? Why are you sounding as if you don't believe me? Of course I believe you. Joy. Do you believe yourself? Joy, what, what, what's going on in your mind? Baby girl, you know when your heart starts doing you somehow. No, 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 no. You should know that there's something. Do you think I'm lying? Uh, I did not say so. I'm just saying, do you believe yourself? Because I don't believe myself. Because anything can happen. Yeah, that's by the way. <laughs> Joy. Yes, babe. Um, Mr. Chris, I do not know how long you can keep secret. Officer of the law, if you tell me a secret, I promise to keep it and not tell anyone. Well, why, why am um, I even begging a bloody civilian like you? I can't be begging a civilian. If I hear anything I'm telling you here, anywhere outside, I will send you to prison without mercy. Officer of the law, if you tell me your secret, I promise to keep my mouth sealed. Mr. Grizz, I can see you are enjoying my madam's mansion and the luxury. And it. Well, you're right, Officer of the Law. I've always dreamt of living in a house this big all my life. Mm. My madam's father owns this like four in this state including Abuja. And I want to let you know that my madam is in charge of all. Wait a second. Do you mean to tell me that madam own a lot of houses? She is the living landlady as we speak. She is the sole administrator of her father's estate. Wow. That's good. Do you know why I'm telling you this? Why are you telling me? This is a notification to you. Okay. If my madam likes you, I 
and she decide to favor you, she will send you overseas. So you should serve her diligently and honestly. Hmm. I get your point. Thank you very much, Officer of the Law. Henceforth, I promise to increase the quantity of the food I serve you. Mr. Chris, anytime you're talking about food with me, don't forget protein. Add enough protein. All right. <laughs> That's fine. I deserve protein. <laughs> I will. <laughs> oh my goodness. <sighs> Joy, mm. darling. Mm. Sita, thank you for coming, okay? I promise that <laughs> one day I shall reciprocate this your good guest show. I promise. Hello. What? See who is talking. <laughs> Lizzie, are you sure you heard yourself very well? You will visit me. Hey! Any day that happens, you know what I'm going to do? I will go to church. I will make sure I go with big cow. Big one, oh, very big one. I will dance and dance and dance. And they will ask me, what's the problem? I will tell them, my friend, <laughs> Lizzie, came to my <laughs> house. <laughs> Oh my god, no, no, I'm not that I'm not that bad. I'm not bad. I'm not that bad. Oh. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Thank you so much for understanding me and accommodating my my weakness, okay? <laughs> it's okay, my darling. <laughs> what are friends for? Mm. You know I love you so much. They so love it's you fine. Too. I love you so I much. I know too. that um Inspector and Chris, they are always taking good care of me. <laughs> so it's fine. Like, front. Don't, don't, don't go there again. Oh, you crazy occupant here again. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, how's what? it going with you and um, Mike oh. and other suitors coming in and out of your life? Um, Lizzie, I don't want to talk about that because it feels like suffering and smiling. I don't want to be in that kind of relationship. Meanwhile, why are you not hooked? Uh, not her. Lizzie, you need a man in your life. Look at all the accessories that you have in your body. Chai, what is wrong with you? I've told you time with that number not to visit this issue again. Uh, why not? I told you I was supposed to be a Catholic reverend sister. Doing God's work. If not... If not my father. Please, uh, don't make me cry. Easy. Come on, stop. Stop it. Why are you crying? Doing God's work and the work you're doing. Are they not the same? Yes. Every work you're doing, once you're doing something that is good, you're working for God. Wherever you find yourself, that is where God wants you to be. So it's possible this is where God wants you to be. And it's better. What are you saying? What is better about where I am right now? No, tell me. Tell me. Maybe you don't know what it means. Being a reverend sister. You don't know what sisterhood looks like. don't know what it takes to be there. Doing the work of the Most High God and serving people. Doing a humanitarian work. You don't understand it. I do understand it. And you know what, my darling? We're still saying the same thing. <sighs> doing God's work, serving people. What are you doing? You work for the society. You're serving people. You make people happy. You help us at work. What are you saying? <laughs> you? Yes, my darling. Because whatever you're doing and you're doing it right, to me, that is God's work. So wherever you find yourself and you're doing it, that is it. So just cheer up. Joy the washer. <laughs> oh, just pressure. <laughs> no, please. 
Oh, <laughs> boy, boy, you know, I got you, baby. I got you. And you know what I'm saying is the truth. So you need to come be here, happy. Come here. Mm. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank it's you right. for being there for me, okay? Anytime, baby. I have to run, okay? It's okay. It's okay. Let me Make sure you take good care of yourself. I will. Anyway, I trust Chris. Um, ah. Inspector, take good okay, care okay. of you. <laughs> Bye, baby. See ya. Mr. Chris! Chris! So when you call me? Yes, I do. Okay. There is a white bag on my bed. Please help me get it. Okay. Please. What? Please sit. Oh, okay. In appreciation for your loyalty and services to me, I got you that. A phone? A cell phone? Yes. I hope, oh. I hope you like it. Of course I like it. Okay. Thank you so much, Ma. It's okay. May God bless you, Ma. May God replenish your pocket. Thank you so much. I appreciate this, Ma. This is so kind of you. It's okay, Chris. In addition to that, henceforth, I want you to address me by... Lady Lizzie, no more ma compliments. Is that okay? But ma, wouldn't that sound rude? That is what I want and how I want you to address me. Is that a problem to you? No ma. Good. Oh, sorry. Uh, no, Miss Lizzie. Okay. That is fine for now. You may go. I'll be off to work. Well, please, help me with this. Thank you very much, ma. Thank you. Wow. I Thank believe you, you already have a SIM card, so you will go and retrieve it so that you have a line. Is that okay? No problem. Thank you very much, ma. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Where's my khaki? Oh, okay. Okay, Zia. Officer in charge. Mr. Chris, yes. I'm very excited. I feel like I'm on top of the world. <laughs> I told you. I told you that you're serving a super rich police officer. Mm. Provost General, mm. I must thank you immensely. I have been briefed by Lizzie. She told me how you played a vital role towards saving my life during the accident. Mr. Chris, mm? I heard you call my boss Lizzie. Do you know that is an offense of defamation of character and it is punishable by law? Officer in charge, can you just slow down with the charges? She said I should call her that henceforth. Yes. Listen, if I find out that you told a lie, I am not only going to prosecute you, but I'm going to tell my boss to imprison you forever. For life! Alright, I concur. What? I concur. Mr. Chris? Yes. You concurred? Oh. Officer in charge, I never said I... I have conquered. I said I concur. Which means I accept everything you have said.
Is that crazy? Encore? You said you conquered an officer of the police force? See you in court. Mr. Chris, see you in court. This young man sounds very intelligent and pretends not to be. He must be a spy. He must be a Russian spy. I will keep an eye on you, Mr. Chris. Wait a minute. I concur. I concur. I concur. Lizzie, darling, I must commend you. The last time I was in your house, I couldn't get my eyes off Chris. That guy looks so handsome. Oh my goodness. Who looks so handsome? Chris? My servant? Yes! Don't call that about your servant too, because he's so cute. Do you see his skin? His smile? Oh my god. Joy, do you know you wouldn't have been in police force? Why you not? would have made a good novelist. What is wrong with you? Why is it that you don't like taking me serious? When I tell you something, believe me. Do you know that guy made me for the first time? I felt something. Wait, I, I, can't, I, can't, I can't see those things you're talking about that guy him. I can't see anything. That's why he's been in that house with me. All I see in him is a guy who is really helping me out in doing house chores. And that's all. I can't see anything like handsome, goodness. Honestly, I can't, I can't see them, really. Then you don't know what you're saying. You don't have eyes. Anyway, all this your Virgin Maria, you know, Sister Mary, they've really dealt with you. Because that guy, Chris. You want to insult me, right? That me. guy, Chris. Please forget about that. Thank guy. you. No. He no, looks so about good. Us. Thank you, baby. Oh, what? <laughs> Thank you. You're a mad girl. <laughs> Get it, Joe. Let's go. Bye. Bye. Once more, Lizzie. Thank you for taking good care of Chris. Inspector, mm. you see, I can identify kindness when I see one. I owe a lot of gratitude to Madame Lizzie. She has a way of protecting and taking care of the poor. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's my boss for you. I mean, that lady can share her wealth into two and give half to the poor. But she hates lies and pride. Sorry, sir. Are you trying to say I'm a liar and I'm proud? Uh, that's, 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 that's your con own cup of tea. Own cup of tea? Yes, if you like, you lie. If you like, you... Oh, yeah, police. Ah, my Cordelia. Uh, fine, man. Hello. My dimple baby. <laughs> fine, man. You see this medicine, eh? I just miss it now. It's very strong. You must eat very well before taking it. Oh, oh, okay. I see. Uh, Mr. Chris? Yes? You head her. Run to the kitchen and make me a good food. I'm sorry. Um, sorry, Inspector. There's no food until lunch is served. Got it? This one is number one. I hope you added the uh, yellow fever. Okay, Inspector. Go inside and give me money now. Let me go attend to customers waiting for me. If yellow fever is disturbing you, go to hospital. Cordelia, I can see you are beginning to challenge my authority. Cordelia, do you know that I can charge you for illegal drugs? Huh? 
Oga police, go give me money now. Nah. Let me go. Each time you take my abona, so so arrest, arrest, go, they come out from your mouth. Look, keep, 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 keep quiet. Um, Mr. Chris. Sir. Uh, can you kindly run inside and get me 1,000 naira. Thank you. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. That's impossible. I don't have any money, sir. Mr. Chris. Sir. Run inside and get me 1,000 naira. What is wrong with bloody civilians? Don't you want the 1,000 again? Mr. Chris. Do you know that by the power conferred on me as an inspector of the law and the future inspector general of police, I can charge you for civil disobedience? Officer, what have I done again? Did I not obey you? You asked me to give the woman money. Did I not give her money? What are my offenses now? Mr. Chris, it seems... I am being too familiar with you. Huh. Paying that money is one thing. And discharging your duty promptly and effectively is another thing. Huh. Officer of the law, what, what exactly have I done? Can you kindly tell me what my offense is? You asked me to give the woman the money. I gave the woman. And you know I have no money. I had to steal my madam's money. Right now, I have to look for a way to replace the money. What do you want me to do? Okay, 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 okay. Mr. Chris. That is double offense. Oh, yes. And I can charge you for stealing my tricks. But I will. Hmm. Now, get inside and bring my food. Get inside. Officer, I'm sorry, that is totally impossible. The only food remaining is for madame. Do you want to eat madame's food? I suppose no. Mr. Chris, I give you two options. Just two. Go in there, bring my food, face madame. Or refuse to give my food and face the firing squad. Choose one. I will get you the food, please. There is nothing as good as power. Back. How's work, man? Chris. Ma? Don't tell me you have short memories. What have I done? Simple instruction. It's difficult for you to carry on. Oh, oh. I'm so sorry, Ma. I'm already used to addressing you as, you know, Ma. It's actually a sign of respect, and I'm used to it. Okay. Let me make it simple for you. Call me Lizzie. All right, Miss Lizzie. No, Lizzie. All right, Lizzie. That's Good. Right. Yeah. Um, that reminds me. What was that you discussed with my friend Joy the last time she came? Um. Nothing really important. We. We just talked about a few things and she complimented my looks. I think that's about it, yeah. Okay, that's all for now. Please, get my food ready. All right, now. Oh, sorry. sorry, it's easy. Inspector Charles, I am working relentlessly to ensure that your name will be enlisted in the next ASP cadet course so that you will be elevated. 
my superior. I believe if I am being promoted, I will be allowed to still work under you. Ma. My is to make sure that you are being promoted and that of the Commission of Police to do his posting based on state level, Inspector Charles. If promoting me to the rank of an ASP will demote me as your orderly, it's better I remain an inspector. <sighs> inspector Charles, why such a decision? My superior, is rather I remain an inspector than being promoted to an ASP and being sent to the roadblock and die there. And most importantly, I will protect you to the best of my ability. And putting my eyes on that yellow boy Mr. Chris gives me a lot of joy because that boy looks suspicious. Oh, Inspector Shas, I was thinking you were going to welcome my news with a very glad heart. My superior, I received this news with mixed feelings because most of my colleagues who were promoted are not alive to celebrate their rank. The situation of the country is bad. <laughs> you will not kill me with jokes, Inspector Charles. My superior, it is better to be late than late Inspector Charles. It's fine. You may go back to your duty post, Inspector Charles. Thank you. Ma. Sorry, baby. I sure you do not want to eat nor drink anything. Come on, Lizzie. I'm not a guest here. <laughs> if I want anything, I will request for it. See? <laughs> In that case, uh, Chris, you may retire back to the kitchen and continue with your house chores. All right. You're welcome. Thank you, I have to Chris. go back to the kitchen. Thank you. I hope you're okay. Yes, I'm fine. <laughs> Lizzie. Mm -hmm. There is something very important I need to discuss with you. Okay. Go ahead. What's the matter? Lizzie, um, I want us to work minds together. You know, you're like a sister to me. I can't hide anything from you. Yes. Please. For the last time, do you have anything with Grace? Or do you love Grace? <laughs> Nothing really. Chris is just helping me with house chores and some domestic errand. That's all. That's all. Mm -hmm. Nothing attached to it. What is wrong with you, this girl? Lizzie, honestly, I just want to ask you for a favor. If you do this for me, I will be so grateful. Okay, what is it? You know, there is nothing I cannot do to make you happy. <laughs> Right? Yeah. Lizzie, can you release Chris to me? I love him. What? Yes. Afro Mianya. I love him so, so much. I can't stop thinking about him. Like, oh my God. Oh my God. Please. Oh, God, God. Tapranute. Get it, get it. Watching and setting. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Uh, you see, Kode, the last ago you gave me did well in my body. If you see the way it washes my body and sets every part, <laughs> that was when I knew that the God gave you to this place just to sell Agbo. <laughs> I hope say so you settled the damn place. You belong to Agbo Kingdom. <laughs> 
We have come a long way. No, 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 no. I know that nobody can challenge me. It's true. You see this one? Oh. Number one. This Agbo is number one. Ah! You know I trust you. Yeah. Since I would have arrested you, ah. I would have arrested you for illegal drug trafficking. Yes, I would have. Ah. But oh. come to think of it, Cordelia, Cordelia, are you sure this your medicine is registered with NAFDAC? Okay, bro, calm down now. The way you are taking my boy without going to hospital, paying high high bill, is it no better for you? Yeah, it's true. Eh? You know how country is. It's true. I was just joking. After ha. all, this uh, medicine they are selling in the hospital is it all that cure the med uh, the sickness? It's not all that cure all the sickness. Ah, there again. Let's forget the issue yeah. of Abu. Then, um, who is that guy that I saw the other day that paid me? That fine guy. Now. Why they shake my Tell me now. That fine bobo now. Nah. Why I saw the other day that paid me. Kodele. Tell me now. Nah. That fine bobo. Kodele, do you know that I can charge you for trespassing? Eh? Looking at my madam, my madam, how's her help? In a romantic eye? He. Eh? He say how's her help? That fine bobo. Yes, now. Your madam what? How's her help? Okay, no problem, no problem. Uh, pay me, make a day go. I should pay you. Mm. After I might have given you the information you deserve, the information you this wanted information to know. For this business, how much will, will you now pay for the information? I beg, I know why you came here, you admire somebody, pay and me my money now make a day go. Yeah, don't, don't, don't make noise in this. I will arrest you for noise, noise pollution. In that well, it's inside they fear you. Idiot, come on, take Give me my 200 naira, make a day go. I beg. Are you uh, driving? Uh, you you shall you chop winch? Officer of the law. Which officer? Mr. Chris. Yes, please. Do you have anything to tell me? I mean, is there anything I should know? No, I don't have anything to tell you. Don't forget I'm a police officer. And I know everything about you. If I find out you are lying to me or playing games with me, I won't forget to show you the exit door. And you know you are going to suffer it. I'm not lying to you. I don't have any reason to. You've been a nice person to me. And I have so much respect for you. I promise never to lie to you. I can't do that. Please, man. There's something I'd like you to do for me. Okay. What is that? I need a job. I'm tired of staying in this house idle. Not doing anything. I need to work. I'll appreciate it if you help me find one. Noted. I will fix you with a very good job soon. I'm working on that already. Is that okay? Yeah, thank you very much. It's fine. Chris. Good morning, ma. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. Uh, okay. Uh, how are you enjoying your stay here? Um. I, I'm. I'm doing. I'm doing fine. I mean, uh, I couldn't have asked for a better place to stay. So I'm. I'm fine. Uh, Chris. Ma. Won't you at least offer me a seat? Oh, my apologies. Please sit down. Uh, sorry, I, I, I didn't expect to see you in my room this morning. It's okay. <laughs> um, Chris. Yes, please. 
Remember, you, you promised never to lie to me, right? Yes, of course. I, I promised never to lie to you. Why? What can my friend Joy do for you that will make you forget my kindness to you? Where is that coming from? I mean, the question sounds very weird. Besides, why... Why do you put so much attachment to your friend, Joy? What's so special about her? Nothing. <laughs> I was just teasing you. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I want to still ask. Okay. What do you think about my friend Joy? What I think about her? Mm -hmm. um, from my observations, I feel like... I would say she's the closest to you because she's she's about the only one who comes around often. And um, I want to believe both of you are very close because um, I see the energy when, you know, you interact mm -hmm. with yourselves. And so I, I want to think she's your best friend. Yeah. Yes. You are right. Your observations are right. Yes. Um, okay. Um, so, what are you up to? Um, nothing. I'll go down shortly and do the chores and... Mr. Chris, I can see that pride is setting into your life. Imagine, you did not even think of bringing lunch to me. Why? Officer in charge, I apologize for that. I've been very busy in the kitchen, trying to cook and feed my madame. By so doing, you're starving me and giving me room to charge you for negligence and starvation. Mr. Provost. I think you need to sort out things with my madam. Because according to the information I have, you must not eat lunch. That you are privileged to eat breakfast and dinner. No lunch for you, sir. Mr. Chris. Yes? Having seen the intents of your foolish heart, I will tell my boss that you are a common thief. Oh, yes. Officer in charge. Did you forget you were the one who asked me to steal the money and get you food? In other words, you are accusing me of aiding and abetting crime. That is another offense that will make me see you in court. Well, Mr. Provost, what are you talking about seeing me in court when we're only having a conversation? I do not need any more conversation from you. Mr. Chris, see you in court. Um, officer in charge, please, I need to know. What court exactly? Which of the courts? And do I have the right to a lawyer? Mr. Chris. Sir. You're a foolish man. You're a bloody civilian. I will court martial you. Now, get out from my side. Get out! Hop, 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 idiot. Blood civilian. Mr. Chris, you need to play by the rules. You see, my experience as an inspector of the law, I have prosecuted 30 suspects, 29 life imprisonments, two run away out of here. Wow. Wow. Officer in charge. That's very, very impressive. You know, 
I have always said to myself that you're a powerful police officer. You possess so much gallantry and experience. Sometimes I begin to wonder why you were sent to be in charge of the gate instead of fighting on the field. Mr. Chris, sir, that is not acceptable. Never. I will advise you watch your mouth, else I charge you for miscommunication. I'm sorry, sir. Now let me tell you a story. There was a bloody civilian who paraded himself as a lover boy. Tried to get involved with my boss sexually. A bloody civilian with a senior police chief. She reported to me. I arrested him, detained him, and charged him for breach of peace. Mr. Chris. Sir. Your days in this house are numbered. Um, officer in charge, would you like a glass of water? Let me quickly get you a glass of water. Mr. Chris? Sir. I hope you're not running away. No, no, sir. I'll be right back, sir. Blood is severe. Chris, darling, is this your first time staying alone with a woman? I'm sorry, madam. I don't have any response to that question. Besides, my boss didn't tell me you were going to visit. Oh, <laughs> relax. I will wait for your boss to get back. Okay? Um, can you please um, hand over your phone to me? I want to dial a number. Please. Sure. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, um, Chris. Yes, please. Um, there is something important I would love to discuss with you. Please sit. If you're going to be fast with it, then no problem, I'll sit. Of course, I promise. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know what I wanted to say was, um... You clearly don't have anything to say. Sorry, can I have my phone? I, I do. I have to, you know, continue with the choice. I, I won't waste your time. Sorry, excuse me. Thank you. Chris? This boy. Anyway. you were coming to my house mm. my sister i was so pissed like i was so pissed to my bone marrow you see that stupid dto eh he got on my nerves how dare he tap my bone is it crazy or something <laughs> please sit down <laughs> rubbish what um, nonsense i think it's his own way of showing love and affection but then your response and attitude, I think it was way, way insulting. Lizzie, don't tell me you support that beast for what he did to me. He's loved by force. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for sounding the way I did. But I felt there are better polite ways to still pass your message. Animals like that beast don't deserve Polite words. What they deserve is disgraceful words, just as I gave it to him. Pa, pa, pa. Uh, it's okay. Can we just forget about this right now? So, have you been offered anything? My sister, not you know. Huh? Where is Chris? Huh? Chris, I was busy giving excuses that uh, um, that he was doing some chores for you. He left me and went to the backyard. 
I've just been sitting here very hungry. I'm gonna go maybe. I'm, I'm sorry, darling. Oh. So, what would you want to drink or eat? Let me, let me, let me get that for you. Anything you give me, I'm so hungry as you see me like this. So. It's all right. I won't be a minute. Okay? Please tell him to come and serve me, <laughs> Lizzie, baby. Just tell him to come and serve me, okay? <laughs> oh my goodness, stupid Didi. Oh, hey, Allah. Hey, I got problems. I'm waiting and they call you. I better go inside. Go bring my money. Pay me now. <laughs> Cordelia. So Cordelia, for your mind. You are exercising your rights mm. for selling illegal and unregistered traditional medicine. Hey, hey, hey. I no come here for all this big, big grandma where they speak. I bet go inside, go bring my own money and give me. Make a out here now. Ah ah, kilo share. Kode kode, kode. You know, see now you they make us they fight every day. Mm. Now you they make us they fight every day. You're not supposed to be fight on any man. Eh? I don't tell you, see, accept my proposal and be happy. Eh? Oh, yes. Just accept to marry me now. <laughs> hey! So you look me finish. I can't be like person where you go marry me. See ordinary abo where they drink inside your body to pan the haji. Eh? You go feed feed woman, so? Of course, I feed feed woman. Don't you know that I am saving that money for your big day? I mean, the day I will take you to the altar. <laughs> your hey. day. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. So, if get no for, you know, go pay me for ordinary abo where you drink. Eh? Oh, you are expecting game for this dry season. I beg, pay me, make a come out here. Uh, ah, Godella, uh, come, come down. See, yeah, just go out there. Put the dirty, dirty. All those ones who were washing and setting. Just come and come give me. When I drink, I finish. I go pay you when you come back. See, when see, you finish see, market see, today. See, 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 I no feel sell any about to you again until you pay me for the last one you bought on credit. Don't tell me. You hear me? I, I, I don't understand. <laughs> don't, don't you know I can charge you for break and enter in this place? Oh yeah! Oh yeah now! Nah. Arrest me! Mr. Provost, arrest me! Ah! Look how sexy you are. Anytime you get angry, you get sexy. Now go get this one. Chris! 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 Mr. Chris! I'm still coming. Oh, sorry, I, I, I'm busy in the kitchen. I didn't hear you call out. Sorry. Why did you neglect my friend Joy? Neglect your friend, Joy. I'm sorry, Ma, how did I do that? I didn't neglect your friend. I only told her I was busy in the kitchen. You could have at least asked her what she wanted to drink or serve her something before doing what you're doing in the kitchen. Well, I want to believe that was an oversight. I just told her I was busy in the kitchen. I, I, didn't, I didn't know she felt neglected. I'm sorry about that. It's alright. Next time, make sure you correct the impression. That's fine. But Ma, you didn't tell me she was coming around. Joy is my friend. She's always welcome to this house. Is that correct? That's okay. Good. You may leave. Thanks for the correction. You may go. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Hello? Yeah? Who? Hello? Miss Joy? How did you get my number? Chris, darling. Are you surprised? Oh. You, you took my number when I gave you my phone. Stop behaving naive. Don't you understand that? I love you. Miss Joy, sincerely speaking, I don't understand any of this. I see this as a plot to... 
take me away from Lizzie's house. And trust me, whatever your plans are, I am not interested. Please. I heard you talking to someone on the phone. Who was that? Talking to someone on the phone? Yes, you. No. No. I wasn't talking to someone on the phone. You probably heard me singing. Oh, oh I love to sing. I didn't tell you. It's my hobby. Oh, you like singing? Oh, yes. I, I like singing, but I have a terrible voice. <laughs> nice. Okay. See me in my room by 6 p.m. Let me have some rest. Okay, no problem. Mm. Officer in charge. Good day, sir. Mr. Chris. Sir. Mr. Chris, do you know that you are an ungrateful element? Uh -uh. Me? Ungrateful oh, element? Yes. yes. Sir, but what have I done? I, I, I can remember we never had a quarrel. We've been very cordial. What is wrong? What do you mean by cordial? How do you mean cordial? Mr. Chris? Sir? Is that a setup or what? Do you know I can charge you for falsehood and misunderstanding claims? But sir, I'm sorry for what I said, I, but, but I'm here to understand why you said I'm ungrateful. Mr. Chris. Sir. In police force, there is what we call gratification. gratification. In other words, certain. When you receive a gesture from a senior officer, what you do is you show gratification. In the religious aspect, they call it tithe and offering. Oh, sir, do you mean bribe? Shut up! What? Mr. Chris! Sir, how dare you try to bribe an officer of the law? Oh, sir, I didn't try to bribe you. Shut up! Do you know that I can charge you for bribery and corruption? Oh, sir, I didn't give you money. I, I, you just said something that I tried to... Will you go and get my food? Go and get my food! Go and get... Bloody civilian. Bloody civilian. This boy, in all my years of service, I have never been distressed of my life. You're becoming too wise for my liking. Henceforth, you will never cross this gate. You will never cross this gate. Even you were given order to cross the gate, you will give me an estimated time of arrival. Blood is severe. What kind of stupid animalistic feeling am i having about this guy chris why must i consent to law of having such oh am i playing to the gallery please if you agree to my proposal i will not only fix the traditional wedding immediately but i will, I will average for the for the white wedding in the u.s where i base please Mr. Jeff. Yes, please. I want you to read my lips. I am not interested. Did you hear that? I am not interested. And please, do not try to impress me with anything you know money can buy. Please, if you don't mind, I will go on my knees. To make you know how I love you and feel for you. Mr. Jeff, 
I think at this point you need to take your leave. Because it's time for me to have my rest. Please. You need to understand how I feel about you. Please. Please, you may leave. I believe you should be the gentleman that I think you are. Unless if you want to tell me that you are not, I can involve my oddly. No, 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 no. It doesn't come to that. It doesn't come to that. Oh, you see, my, my heart beats for you. Leave. I, I, Go ahead. I just That's it. Done. I love you, Liz. I love you. Why are you pestering me? What are you doing in my house? Mr. Jeff, why are you pestering me? What is wrong with you? Why are you following me about? Have I not told you that I'm not interested in you? Or any other man? Have I not? Please, you know, we build, we build love, you know. If you just accept me, the love will grow gradually. I said Trust leave me. my house right it's now. Easy. I'm in love. Inspector Shas! Arrest this man and charge him accordingly. He doesn't come to that place. Take care of him. Please. Hello. I should sit down. Okay. Chris. Yes, Remember you promised never to lie to me. And I believe you know the consequences if you do. Yes, I promised never to lie to you. And I still keep to my promise. Good. Now tell me. What's your relationship with women? And how many do you have before and now? Um, I, I really don't know how to start answering your question, but I can remember as a teacher in the village, I had so many female students as friends. Um, because I'm one of those people who think it is inappropriate to have an affair with a female student. So they were more like my sisters, friends, and our relationship was very platonic. However, I had something to do with uh, a colleague of mine, a fellow teacher, but then again, it, it wasn't for too long because she she got married. Oh. Yeah. She got married. Okay. Why didn't you marry her? Um, we really never talked about marriage. Um, we didn't go that far because she was a very ambitious person. She wanted to travel out. She wanted to do business. She wanted to do so many things. And I think um, from the little time we spent together, she was more of um, an ambitious person. Marriage wasn't um, in her dictionary at the time. But I was very surprised that, you know, someone came and got married to her. Someone who came from America, actually. Yeah. Oh. That, that must have been a very big um, heartbreak for you. Well, not entirely, um, because I saw it as an opportunity for her to, you know, seek for a greener pasture. Because, don't forget, I... 
I said she had always wanted to travel out. And so the guy called Jeff came all the way from America and got married to her and and the rest is history. Yeah. Did you say the guy's name is Jeff and is based in America? Yes. His name is Jeff, I can remember. And he came all the way from America. Yes. Can you can you describe this Jeff? Um I can remember he is a slim person and That was where I shot ten gorillas. Ten gorillas, I brought them down. <laughs> I shot ten gorillas down. And that was when my commandant looked at me and said, I will give you a name. He nicknamed me the Provost General with capital letter P. <laughs> oh, yes. Hey! Oh, God, Inspector. Eh? You then tell me all these things. I see that no, they listen to news or no current affairs again. Hey! That, oh, listen to me. Hmm? If you dare say anything that is contradicting to what I'm saying now, to my opinion, I will arrest you and charge you for liberty. I beg you, this issue of arrest and persecute don't too much for your mouth. See, eh? Which uh, peacekeeping go Gaza did you? Is it the happening one or the coming one? Will you shut up your mouth? Woman, shut up! Even you force me to divulge highly military intelligence right now on you! Hey, all inspector. See, I'm not telling you. Woman, power no rich go peacekeeping with guys. Israeli army, then go shop on our own. Um, Cordelia. At this point, I can see you're good for nothing. Oh yes, the only thing you're good for is to gallivant the streets selling this, this, this condemned medicine. Oh yes, you have to leave this place now, or I will arrest you and charge you for trespassing. Hey, that won't be a problem. I will go, but see, I know go marry you. Now this is all. Get out from here! Uh -huh. I'll go. You don't manage to police. I'm not married for this. Oh, you're going to marry me, Somebody with so much security intelligence, I'm not telling you. How about get out? On my right shall be visited with severe punishment. Oh yes! From now on henceforth, I shall apply my training in military. As I serve my superior, as I serve her, I will have no mercy on any civilian. I shall have no mercy on any civilian. Shoot at sight! Shoot at sight! General, what is it? Why are you raising your voice? I heard your voice from inside. What is wrong? Mr. Chris, yes? Do you know that I can charge you for bantry and assault? For touching me unauthorizing me? An officer of the law? I, I, I'm sorry for touching you, but I was only concerned because I heard your voice from inside. Why are you screaming? Who provoked you? Mr. Chris, yes? For the second time, do you know I can shoot you and label you ah. for self defense? What, shoot me? Oh, yes! I will shoot you and label you for self defense and nobody will ask of you. I'm sorry. I will open fire on you. I'm sorry, don't open fire on me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. How dare you touch me? You not pohala! Idiot! Look at them, bloody civilians! We have bloody civilians.
Good morning, ma'am. Krista, I need to talk to you. Okay. I want you to look for an alternative accommodation. I can no longer harbor you here. I'm sorry, ma'am. Did I do something wrong? If, if I did, I, I'm, I'm sorry. If I did anything unknowingly, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry about that. But you can't just throw me out on the streets. But I do not want you around the house anymore. Listen, ma, b b hold on, hold on. If I did anything, I'm sorry, ma. Please, forgive me. You can't just throw me out of the... Inspector Sharps. I want you to keep your eyes on the house. Keep your eyes on this house. Am I clear? Consider it done, ma'am. This time, I shoot at sight any idiot that tried to trespass. And that young man, Chris, if he wants to leave, do not stop him. Pardon my curiosity, ma'am. Is Chris agitating to leave? Inspector Shas. Yes, ma'am. You are here to take my orders. You don't question my instructions. Yes, ma'am. Now, through the gate. The one who played the major role in saving your life. But would you rather remain a servant all your life? Joy, I want to know you know the reason I am in this situation, don't you? I do. And do you want to remain like that? God forbid. Then do something. Do something. There is an English proverb that says. A man should not be bothered. Joy, Joy, listen to me. We've been talking for over 10 minutes. You haven't said anything. Why did you call me out here? What do you want? Can you just put me through? Because I don't understand what you're up to. Grace, I know I've made my intentions clear to you. I love you, Grace. Can't you see? Just take a look at, look into my eyes and tell me you don't see it. Joy, 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 listen, listen to me. I understand how you feel. I respect your feelings. You love me. I get it. You care about me. I understand. But the truth is, I am with your friend. I'm still under her service. Do you understand me? So you need to, you know, trade cautiously. I know. I'm only trying to save you from Lizzie's imprisonment. Can't you see you're on the whole stage? Okay. You need to be in one. I have, I have curfew. 